general information for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Tonight's uh, discussion is presented by the Community Development Clinic at the University of Baltimore School of Law. Student attorneys provide a variety of corporate and transactional pro bono legal services to community organizations, small business organizations, and nonprofit organizations in Baltimore's underserved communities. They don't have to be, they don't have to work there. I mean, so you can like pretty much say, I don't want to ever see you again and I'll just pay your dividends. So you don't feel like that. Part well, they do have, the they can elect the board of, they will elect the, the board of directors. But if you hold the major percentage, like she holds 51%, when she. She will be the controlling interest. Right. So exactly. So you can make sure to, so that if you wanted to have at 50.1, theoretically, and you wanted your, the person that's working with you at 49.9, so that you can still maintain control, but they now have an interest, that's something that you could think about doing. Your voting rights also, according to Maryland statute, will be based on your percentage of contribution, meaning if you want to have everyone vote on things that you go forward with in the LLC, then unless it's provided in your operating agreement, your voting rights will be based on your percentage of contribution. Withdrawal. When someone withdraws, they can withdraw from the LLC according to Maryland with six months written notice.